Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about another indicator called Time Series Forecast Indicator. Um, the interpretation of uh, Time Series Forecast uh, Indicator is very identical to a moving average. At least I'm using this indicator that way. Some other people may be use it in other ways. Um, let me just add the uh, indicator to the chart. We are looking at Euro, US dollar. We are on, on one hour chart. So I'm going to add the time series indicator, time series forecast indicator, as you can see. I'm changing the period to 10. And what this 10 means, or whatever numbers that you insert in the period section, the, uh, the time series forecast indicator displays the, uh, uh, what you call it, the statistical trend of a securities price over a specific, uh, specified time period. So the trend is based on uh, linear regression analysis. I have another videos talking about uh, linear regression uh, and you can go and watch those videos as well but we're not going to talk about those uh, and the calculations obviously on this video. I just want to show you how to use this indicator. Uh, okay I'm going to change the color to something more because I'm going to add some other lines. Okay, this yellow one here you can see. Uh, then I'm going to just add another um, where is it? time series forecast here. And I put the period to 20. I change the color to something like reddish color. Okay, you can see. Um, I'm saying the interpretation of time series is, is very identical to the uh, moving average. So if you plot two um, indicators, you can see uh, that it shows you entries uh, very nicely uh, based on the crosses. Uh, as a rule of thumb, it's good if you see an uptrend like here. Um, so, like here, you can see the uptrend. You better to only listen to the buy signals. Um, but if you use this indicator, that's a general rule of thumb, but if using this indicator, especially if you're working on um, smaller time frames like the one that we use today, one hour, you may consider the uh, against trend position, but that's completely up to you. I normally don't do that. I wait for the um, trend reversal confirmation, then I go the other way. So I always try to follow the trend. Anyway, uh, you know how to trade with um, two moving averages. So when the smaller moving average crosses above the uh, bigger moving average, then you press the buy, buy signal. So you buy here and sell here. You see very nicely this indicator gives you the entry and exit point. Um, this indicator has advantages over a moving average. Um, first one, I can say, um, unlike a moving average, a time series forecast uh, the, you know, not have those delays. You know, the moving average is uh, based on the previous prices, but um, although the time forecast, uh, time series forecast indicator is also based on the uh, previous uh, uh, data, but it tries to forecast the future. So, for example, 
the uh, uh, the time uh, series forecast with the period of 10 tries to forecast the price of the, you know, uh, 10 period forward from where we are. Anyway, so uh, the first advantage is that unlike a moving average, a time series forecast does not exhibit as much delay when adjusting, uh, you know, the, to the price changes because the uh, time series forecast uh, tries to make the best fit to the price as well. Um, as I said, yeah, this indicator um, tries to fit itself to the data, rather averaging them like the moving average. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's two uh, advantages. First one is that forecasting to the future more and also uh, uh, not too many delays like moving average. Just to um, check some points first, you know, you can see here we have, uh, I'm just adding a few lines. Um, okay, vertical line. I'm adding a few lines here. You can see a buy signal. Then you're closing here. Again, another line. Uh, or another. here you can see a buy signal and again another one for close at this point so just a randomly a couple of the signals you can see many 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 signals and uh, i can say 95 percent of them are very good signals anyway um now let me just add the moving averages with the same period. Um, it doesn't make sense, but just for this video, because we're gonna compare these two, and you know, for you to understand what when I'm saying that uh, moving averages has delay, but this one not. What I mean. So we go here and add moving average. Uh, I'm gonna choose colors from this side maybe okay so i'm changing the first one to 10 create so this blue one and i'm gonna add another moving average that was just 10 this one's 20 so i'm changing the color to something like this so we know which ones are moving averages okay so green blue moving averages uh, yellow red um, time series forecast okay i'm just zooming in a bit going back to the signals that we had okay uh, you can see here we had the buy signal so very early in the trade by using uh, time series forecast looking at the moving average with the same um, periods. So these two are the moving averages. You can see that. Let me just add. Uh, oh, let me just highlight like something else. Okay. You can see here we have a buy signal a bit later than this one. But um, Moving average on this one performed good because, you know, if you use uh, time series, you would have except the uh, the trade that you opened here. But on moving average, you enter later, but you exit also later. So you, so you stay up to here. But if you're using the uh, time series, you uh, may close here and exit. So we go to the next one. As you can see again, moving averages, uh, blue and green, crossing here. So again, we have a delay. Uh, but 
on this one, as you can see, the time series nicely stays in the uh, trade and it closes the trade very nicely at the top. I, I really like this one. You can see from here to there. But if you use moving averages, uh, so I'm going to these two other lines, sorry, green and blue, too much lines now. So you enter the trade here and you exit here. So you enter very late and you exit again very late. Uh, you're missing early entry and you're missing early exit of the trade. As you can see, um, so just let me add the, um, I don't like eToro's tools that much. Uh, anyway, just let's listen a little bit. If you use moving average, you, you would have entered somewhere here and the close was here. That's using moving average. So if you use moving average, that happens, okay? So close by and A is here, as you can see. But if you use um, time series, then uh, you enter here and you close here. Big advantage over using the other one. Um, yeah, so you can check few other uh, locations like, for example, oh, sorry, that's why I'm saying I don't like this um, eToro chart. Anyway, if you check this one, you can see again, you have early entry with uh, time series forecast and noise exits, but uh, with the um, Moving average in some places is good because it keeps you in the trend more in case of some pullbacks, but on the uh, time series forecast, you know, if every time you have a pull pullback, you're gonna close and again, open a new uh, thread. Yep, uh, I hope you learned something and you can use uh, time series forecast indicator in your trading um, I like this indicator, but uh, I normally um, I normally combine this with my other indicators, and you know it depends on the stock, and you you better check where you're gonna use, and just do a back back test, and then decide if you're gonna use this one. Uh, I hope you learn something new and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, happy trading. See you next time.